let us now move on to treatment of discount on issue of debentures. The treatment of discount on issue of debentures is exactly the same as loss on issue of debentures account. So sometimes only one account is maintained. The accounting treatment for both are exactly the same. So we have either a discount on issue of debentures or loss on issue of debentures. How is this loss written off? This loss or discount is written off over the life of the debentures. One is equally. Either it is written off equally. When is it written off equally? Suppose a company has issued debentures for 50 lakhs. And these are redeemable, repayable after 5 years. So the entire 50 lakhs will be repaid after 5 years. So if there was a discount on issue of debentures or other loss on issue of debentures, this would be written off. The discount which is involved would be written off over a period of 5 years equally. Suppose the amount of discount was an amount of only 1 lakh. 1 lakh divided by 5, 20,000 would be written off to profit and loss account every year. Profit and loss account debit to loss on issue of debentures. The amount would be 20,000 each year. Or it may be in the ratio. Second option is to write it off in the ratio of the debentures outstanding or the sum of the digits method. Suppose a company has issued 50 lakh debentures and the scheme of redemption is such that 10 lakhs are redeemed or repaid every year. This means in the first year, the benefit of debentures was for 50 lakhs. Second year got the benefit of 40 lakhs. Third year got the benefit of 30 lakhs. Second year, sorry, fourth year got the benefit of 20 lakhs. And the final year got a benefit of only 10 lakh debentures. Therefore, it is only fair to write off this 1 lakh in the ratio of the benefit which is received. So, 1 lakh is written off in the ratio of 50 is to 40 is to 30 is to 20 is to 10 or 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. It is the same thing as using the sum of the digits method which we discussed while discussing depreciation. In the ratio of the debentures outstanding would be equal to the sum of the digits method. What is the sum of the digits method? In year 1, the amount to be written off is the total amount of discount into the remaining life of the debentures, including that year. So in the first year, the remaining life is 4 years plus the year, the first year itself, that is 5, divided by 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. In the second year, it would be 1 lakh into 4 because the life, remaining life is 3 years plus the second year itself by 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. In the third year, it would be 1 lakh into 3 years because 2 years remaining plus the current year. So it's the remaining life of the debentures including the current year plus again 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Second year 1 lakh into 2 by 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 and finally 1 lakh into 1 by 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Both the results are exactly the same. If the debentures are irredeemable, then the loss on issue of debentures may be written off over a reasonable period of time, maybe over a period of 7 years or 10 years. A company issued 
टेन लैक टेन परसेंट डिबेंचर्स एट अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट रिडीमेबल आफ्टर फोर इयर्स वॉट वुड बी द अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्काउंट टू बी रिटर्न ऑफ ईच ईयर सो वॉट इज द टोटल डिस्काउंट डिस्काउंट इज रुपीज टेन लैक इन टू टेन परसेंट द टोटल अमाउंट इज वन लैक दिस इज रिडीमेबल आफ्टर फोर ईयर्स देर फोर डिस्काउंट टू बी रिटर्न ऑफ every year would be 1 lakh divided by 4 equal to 25000 let us consider another example where a company has issued 10 lakh debentures at a discount of 10% again we have 1 lakh discount but they are redeemed at the rate of 2 lakh each year what would be the amount of discount to be written off each year so i am applying the sum of digits method the total discount is again 1 lakh what is the life of the debenture 2 lakh is written off every year which means it is written off over a period of 5 years if i take the sum of the digits then it would be in year 1 it would be 1 lakh into 5 by 15 which is the sum of 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 in year 2 it would be 1 lakh into 4 by 15 year 3 it would be 1 lakh into 3 by 15 fourth year into 1 lakh into 2 by 15 and the fifth year 1 lakh into 1 by 15 the amount of discount would therefore be 33333 in the first year 33333 so that's 33 lakh 333 for the first year for the second year it's 1 lakh into 4 by 15 this would work out to 26667 for the third year it's 1 lakh into 3 by 15 that would be 20000 the third year 1 lakh into 2 by 15 which would be 13333 and in the final year 1 lakh divided by 15 which would be 6 lakh 667 therefore this would cover the entire one